Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to install Laravel and set up on our device. Uh, Laravel is a popular web developer framework used by many large companies. In order to use Laravel, we need to install PHP first, then WAMP server for running a Apache server. Then uh, we need also need to install Composer. And for the coding part, you can use VS Code. I am using VS Code. So please whatever. First, go to the Laravel official website. Then click on the documentation where you find all the comments in order to start a Laravel project. First, create a folder. Then open the folder in the comment from. Then go cop then copy the first comment from the website for the global installation of Laravel. Then create a project. You can use any name. I am just go with the default name. Then go inside the folder. Then you can see the command is not working. Fail to open search team, no such file because you have to update the composer file first. Type composer update for updating composer file. Your requirements could not be resolved because we need to ignore the platform requirements. So we need to update like that composer update dash dash ignore dash platform that reqs. Then I am opening all the codes in VS code. Also, I am turning on my WAMP server. You see localhost is running. Now fast forwarding the installation part. Okay, let me show you one thing. Uh, sometime this error occurred, could not found the driver. So I'm gonna show you the process. You can solve this error. Go to the PHP INA file and search for extension, specifically dynamic extension and uncomment two line extension of mysqli and extension of pdo mysql if this uncommented then ok if commented then uncomment and save the file this will prevent this error then type php artisan sharp and where you can see no application encryption key has been specified. Generate after generating the key. For this part, we need to update our database connection. I am using MySQL, so here I will type MySQL 
and uncomment all the other parts. Then you can see database name seems incorrect because we don't have database named Laravel. So we will create a new database with the name. Then for the migration part, there is something wrong. So we'll check manually using comment prompt. We will type PHP artisan migrate and users table already exit so we'll delete the user table drop the user table and migration table then try again syntax error access violation 1071 a specified key was too long so we have to reduce the length from 255 to 191 you can see all the details now run php artisan migrate dash dash pretend so we can see all the sql codes we will create manually by reducing the length you can copy all the code and reduce the number length then try to create table manually Okay, uh, we need to run the server again. And now refresh. That's it.